boy, is it? Stream is going to be fun. I'm back. Hello, we're live, by the way. Hi, live people. Man, you put up squats. I'm just performing on my own. This is the true team. Yes, it is. As I'm sure you've noticed from the title, I'm streaming from a construction zone. Yay! Because I suppose I should go into the full basic story. We had to move. Kind of sucked. And so, uh,. That happened for the first part of the month, and now we're currently in an RV. Uh, yeah. So we're currently in an RV. Internet's not that great. I have to use Hotspot if I want to use like my computer or if I want to stream there, which is limited to, like 20 gigabytes. Which is, if you know the internet, not a lot. Bite weapons. So, uh, that's where we're currently in Seaford at the moment. And I'm streaming from here. Where we actually do have the internet rehooked up and stuff. No, we can't really take advantage of it. But it does get us, like, the optimum hotspots elsewhere and stuff in Nassau County and all that. But yeah, it's a thing. Slap bomb. I'm gonna try that one later. Hence the name of the stream. And the TV that I'm using is a different TV than what I'm used to, so everything is so dark right now. Being real OJ isn't a choice. Like being black or gay. Okay. Well, I better go do the thing. You like know, oh. Don't you Squidward. I may as well do some splat in my own night. I'm close to, what is it? Yeah, I'm one loss or one victory away from the next level. I'm a... Let's find out what I am. Oh, I'm a 
Stevie's backlight is on. It's just not that bright of a backlight. Please don't tell me the connection is unstable. Communication error has occurred. I refuse to believe that. Yeah, it's as good as I can get that. Oh, I'm a fiend with two points up into Defender. Oh. oh, and this will be my seventh match, so I'll have my pow power. My no pow power. This is going to be my first match. Oh, God. Oh, hey, it's Red Riot. So how are you though today? Yeah, oh we haven't my. been able to talk much because of the whole internet situation. Yeah. Oh shit, we're fighting level 72. This, uh, uh, it's a pulp, it's a no pulp versus no pulp match. But I'm not liking the practice. Level 72. Because I've got a spook. Start. Hi, guys. How are you? This is my first time on this shifty station. Okay, I like that the, it's the... Okay, that's how that works. Oh god! Find me. Actor expansion was a lot of fun. It really was. Challenging, but. Rat. Damn it. Well, that's a loss. Damn it. 
I don't know, maybe it's a victory. I don't know, that's close. Nope, that's a loss. Yeah, we've won this. But yeah, currently there's a thing of spaghetti for wires here. Uh, technically there's no actual flooring. It's just got a subfloor. No holes or anything Ooh, though. 70.8, that's a crushing victory. But yeah. To my right, there's a ladder. Construction tools everywhere. Ah, yes. So yeah. Let's keep, Let's keep this gravy train rolling. Ah, my power is 18-7. Tiberius. Tiberius. Whatever his name is. This is Cape Seas. This is a no fault match. This is a fault match. I'm the Manta Maria. I'll say I'm not exactly the best at it. Yes, getting to see all that pearl and ring lore is great. person caught me out of nowhere, the pollution got a really good part. Nice! I got a friend, Luca. Nice. Let's see what 
Nice. Nice, nice. Good victory there. I have one more. I have one more to go. I think we got this one. Yeah, we know how well this is all gonna go. Hopefully, it's not too trapping. Which I don't actually have my uh, computer's fan on it. Ah, yeah, that's the good shit. Hmm. Let's continue. I'm on a bit of a high right now. I'm still a fanboy. Blaze has joined me. Lumi has joined me, and... I don't know what this game is. I actually did pretty well on Manta Maria. Nice. Ah, uh, but the pulp. The pulp match. No pulp match. So it's. That it doesn't even matter. Well, for your personal points, it does at least. Yeah. Power doesn't really matter. Not work. It did not work. <laughs> it's been an okay day. Compared to other days of the month. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, it's certainly been good. Probably already asked that already. Everything's exploding around me. Double splat. Uh, that's the good high. Okay. That's, the, that's the fresh high I got. Come on, team. Yeah. Oh, two. Well, that's a loss. Everything else. 
Then turn it around. Yeah, they turn it around, but that's okay. Life goes on. No, I did my best. I have to make sure I set the um, last Splatfest to uh, export to YouTube. Oop. I'm gonna have to switch, um, I'm gonna have to scrub this shirt clean. I am one and two so far. Mm. Spike, can you just um, scrub my shirt? I did not notice mm, yeah, I those know. emotes that Twitch added for Pride Month. Those are great. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Um, I want tennis, but I also haven't had the internet for it. So it's like feeling so. Torn up about Mario Dennis right now. Which is saddening me because I love the Mario Tennis series. Yes, I saw the uh, gay one, bi one, trans one, and. um. I don't know. lesbian one. Sure, they fought fell. Totally looked like they fell on my screen. Yes. Green is really crumbling us. Come on! 
dangerous place to jump into. Splatted James Pond. <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty much a doomed one. Alright, victory. Gosh, I love those octoling poses. Oh my gosh, yeah. the bucket pose. This hits my fucking look. Yes. So, losing animations are different too. Yep. I'm so glad that they gave them new animations too. Exactly. So like I haven't seen them all yet, because obviously this is my first time really online. Yeah. Which is why when we do get Mike and Clem, I would like to do a little bit of um, Salmon Run. Because I at least want one of those freaking Captain Hats. Ah, I have not been yes. able to Salmon Run all month. And Saber mm. set his alarm for four minutes from now. Don't forget, we might have Colleen, but... I don't know. I just want someone. I haven't been able to Salmon Run in, like, a fucking month. Which is yeah. true, really. Nintendian. Epic Ethan. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason I don't play snipers, because I am not a good sniper. I am a very bad sniper in Splatoon. That's why I'm always surprised when I'm able to actually do the uh, sniping missions. There's some tough sniping missions in um, the DLC. But yeah, the uh, going back to Mario Tennis, but uh, I did uh, play the demo, but because we were moving at the time, I literally only managed to do two matches of the demo. Wait, three matches of the demo. I lost two of them. Horribly. Granted, if they were to be blue at the time to actually practice and play the demo. Which was not me. But I do like some of the cool mechanics in it.
Yeah, this trippy station is definitely a cool one. Because you can cut off so many people's escape routes. I don't even know if that one's still working, that it's tweeting out. Shoot. Got to uh, fix all that. Alright, victory though. Taking out those pulp fiends. It's. I, I like one of the comments I saw. It's orange juice, not orange and juice. Nice. I've got to scrub my headphones. Ooh, and I leveled up. knows that Apple Goalies have floss and toothbrushes. Okay, I disabled that timer on Nightbot, so it shouldn't tweet out that link right now, because that link is not actually valid. I mean, the story still happened. Where did you get in the Acto expansion? Um, kites. Very good against the ghosts there. Ah. Uh, okay, I'm waiting. Thank <laughs> you. 
um, just the last three or four weapons last time, I think. As far as I know, there haven't been any less weapons, but I also haven't been playing. So I really don't know for sure. Yeah, Were you able to figure out how the shifty station worked, though? I know you had uh, questions about it earlier. Now that I've actually played it, I can talk about it. Sometimes it's just bad luck with uh, what your weapons have. Basically, it seems like the uh, spinner thing is from the uh, single player. The middle one makes a wall, and the two side ones make platforms with which you can use to get into the other enemy's base. Other than that, you both start on the same side. I think technically one team has a slight advantage. That's the team that starts on the left side. It's the same issue that happened with um, the oil rig one in the first game. Just because of the um, perspective, like the way the aiming is, because squids are like right hander or whatever. It's time for me. Yeah. It's even happening. Well, the loop is here. Okay, yeah. I'm perfectly happy here. Ah. But yeah, this new shifty station is actually really cool. It's cool, too. Yeah, like it's it's interesting. I I like the it having a different layout. Like instead of the team spawning across from each other, they spawn next to each other, and then there's a common area they both have to take. 
I like that. I want to see more unorthodox playouts like that. Marina. Yep. Or architect. Yeah, I was just uh, out of the house right there, so I was like, rushing back. What? <laughs> 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 is an anime. Michelle <laughs> waiting for this to be in there so he can't do it. <laughs> Defender right now. Alright. Yeah, I managed to get to do champion when I was in the group, but not very far. I don't want going. I don't want going. There we are. <laughs> uh, I am one person. I just like mimosas. <laughs> I'm an idiot and muted myself. I was wondering what happened there. <laughs> <sighs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> nah, you're okay. Still an idiot. That's a little funny. <laughs> I've had a tiring month. I know. There's a Shuppet nearby. Shuppet, spawn for me, I need you. I need nine more fucking ghosts. <laughs> yeah, I, I did finally get my ditto now that the uh, spawns were running back to normal so that ditto could actually spawn. Yeah, I got mine too. I just yeah, need ditto nine more ghosts. Yeah, ditto can only appear off like the most... Yeah, ditto can only appear off the most common Pokemon. I think I'm up to four ghosts. And I am thankful for the water festival because even though I made a mistake and uh, involved magic art before I knew it would be a challenge, the festival did get me halfway to a second Gyarados, so... I'm like 50 away on Whalmer. Okay. So, I'm thankful for that. Oh god. Oh yeah. boy. Oh god. Oh yeah, boy. I am. I am thankful for the gift system because for a while there I completely ran out of healing items, so raid Yeah, I was like so low well on so many items. But now I'm just swimming in max potions. I kind of had to like just upgrade my item storage because of the gifts. Because <laughs> earlier today I tried to spin Poke Stops and it's like, you're full. And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, the gift system is pretty nice though. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. And I did get an Alolan Sand Slash out of it. I have not checked my, um... Crap, I'm on wing. I have not gotten any of my Alolan Egg Sash yet. Okay. I hope you can also get, like, the rare like regional you. Pokemon from friends that are, like, in other regions with them. Oh, cool. Wait. I hope you can. I don't know if you guys can. And does it, now the question is, does it count North America as one region? Yes, we have like Tauros as like one of our regional Pokemon. Ah, uh, uh, right, right. Right, right. Yeah, as I, was, as I was saying, the new Shifty Station is very cool. Still, I really, really like the unorthodox stage layout. 
Nope. Oh, I mean, kind of like already they do all have the formula of like start and different ends of caps for a common area, but this makes it a bit more explicit. And it's harder to backtrack without super jumping. Nope, no sleeping. Yeah, the new shifty station is actually one where, like, the position of teammates for super jumping is very important. Really block people off. Hey, Cliff. Yep. I, is there a country where they play nothing but Smash Brothers? I, I was always that question. Uh, you mean like StarCraft for Korea? I don't know. Unless it's a setup for a joke, I've got no, no idea. It was a setup for a joke and a good one at that. Do it. United States of Smash. Of course. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's blocking my TV at an opportune moment. <laughs> okay, I actually had to go get a different TV because of the whole construction zone thing. So I had to go get the TV that weighed <laughs> upstairs because the TV that I was using. It has developed this issue where it likes to turn itself off. And for an ah. online game like Splatoon, that's a that's little not important. very good. Yeah. That just causes some slight issues. It's kind of the opposite of the normal function of a TV. Oh gosh, so many people are sending me gifts in Pokemon Go. <laughs> <laughs> I love you all, but there. I think there's even a limit to how many you can open in a day. If there is, I, I haven't opened that. Like, I think you can open like 20 at max or something. Well, I haven't hit that one. But yeah, but you know, each friend can only send one per day to you, so that's only if you have like above 20 friends. I'm at 19 friends. Lots of slamming and throwing stuff around. <laughs> like I said, it's a construction zone. <laughs> what Pokemon spawn? Ah, uh, just approach. Okay. Pokemon Go Plus. Wait, wait, wait. Luca, you're in the house itself? Yes. Holy fuck. <laughs> Are you surprised? <laughs> It's a new way of streaming, that's for damn sure. <laughs> nah, I, I remember at least, like, one... I think it was a Cool Games anchor or something, but it was, like, where Griffin had people working on his walls in the background, so he was like, Wow, that guy is just going ham on my walls! <laughs> <laughs> It's... a thing. Because it's like... can't really live here right now. Oh god. Of course I don't need any sweat mine. The better not to sweat mine. Also, them. I saw the um, fight between all the one all night. Yeah. The boss did his did it justice. Yeah, the animation of the original Japanese voice cast like fucking nailed it. So that's good to hear. Yes. 
<laughs> it was a, it was a moment I had very high hopes for, her and they pretty much did it as well as they could have. They did it. The so anime much pulled that off so well. Oh yeah, it was so beautiful. I was like looking like, forward to that because that was my favorite part. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. Remember, I really wish the strongest was like... But I. I guess I remember the hideout raid being longer because I thought this would be the end of the season. But I guess they're also doing the uh, hero license exam uh, to finish up the arc. Hey. Yep. Remember, oh, yep. those who are compiling are the strongest in this world. Yeah, <laughs> that Shibura is great. Shibura is really good. <laughs> Yeah, the license exam, if I remember, it's where everyone starts developing signature moves, uh, Uraraka gets a lot more screen time, and you can finally get to find out what uh, Himiko Toga's power is. Ah, uh, the most regular power norm to me. Yeah. Which, now that, uh, now that everyone's rewatching the Forest Training arc, was actually pretty well foreshadowed in her dialogue. Yeah. I forget what her power is. Ah, uh, she can turn into people. Oh, oh right. Much. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yep. She has to pass her blood, though. And, like, Chiva is, like, always going on rants, like, I want to be Stain, I want to kill Stain, or, like, when you love somebody, don't you just want to become them? It's like, okay, well, I should have picked up on that earlier. I do not like Pokemon, so... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can see why she's popular among a certain fan base, but yeah, not my, not my personal favorite. But... Oh, she's mm. creepy. Yep. I mean, she is creepy. She does nail that. <laughs> She is creepy. Yep. Yeah. And it, it is That's hilarious cool. how her uh, villain outfit is just fucking dressing as Bane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, she did, did have the fun thing where her name was originally not written in kanji or something, where to basically avoid giving away the pun in her name. Because everybody in this series has a pun name. A pun name that relates to their powers, too, I believe. Yep. Although, the, uh, the wielders of All for One... They have a different pun No, no, name. of One for All. The wielders of One for All, I, I gotta make sure I'm saying the right one, have, uh, their number in their name, yeah. Which is also clever. Yep. Oh, so did you see that a new Dragon Ball uh, anime got announced? And is airing on the first? Okay. Super Dragon... or Dragon Ball Super Heroes? Or no. Super Dragon Ball Heroes or something? Yeah, I think it's Super okay. Dragon okay. Ball Heroes. It's basically okay. a promotional one for, like, a video game. Oh, I see there's, like, Super Saiyan 4 in there. Yeah. But, like, it okay. still apparently takes place a bit after Super. Like, Cooler is apparently in it. Okay. It's basically okay. a whole fan service season. So, like, all the cannons are mixing up? Seems like it. Okay, yeah, I'm saying there's, like, yeah, there's, like, Golden Cooler... There's like, uh, yeah, Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan 4. Jeez! That's probably the back in there. Yep. I mean, it should be fun because it's a complete fan service season. Yep. All the power level likery of is Super Saiyan Blue stronger than Super Saiyan 4 will be resolved. Or not. Blue is. Remember, Blue is the hot <laughs> but yeah, Iz Izuku's name uh, has the Ku, which is similar to Q, which is 9. Okay, where is that? Uh, Toshinori. Toshinori! Uh, contains okay. Eight tree genius and law. <laughs> well, Izuku's whole name as Green Valley coming out or being from a certain place. That's not one we see in English. And long ago. Long ago, in the distant. 
I mean, Hidari is just yeah. green. Makes sense. Okay, what was the joke with Mika Toga's name? Yeah, her name was originally written in Katakana rather than Kanji because her full name contains the characters for Migrate, Self, Wear or Put On, Somebody, and Child. Which just straight up gives away her power, yeah. <laughs> Not going. He's also apparently way more popular in America than Japan. I don't know. Like that. Thanks. I hate it. <laughs> also, uh, also rewatching the forest training for Camp Park. Boy, yeah, the foreshadowing for uh, Dobby being uh, Todoroki's brother is like all over the place. It's yep. pretty bloodthirsty at this point. But it still also hasn't been confirmed or anything. It has not. It's still just a theory, but it's like what so so hell? obvious at this point. We are just getting destroyed. Like he's got the same eye color, he's got a fire power, I think it's mentioned he has a brother that we ha haven't seen yet, like, he knows Shoto's name. <laughs> At this point it almost feels like it's so obvious that it can't be true, but it probably obviously is. <laughs> mm. Oh, my team just got destroyed. Rip. And since the current arc seems to be focusing on Endeavor, that's probably a good time to reveal it. Although, it certainly looks like something happened to Endeavor. Mm-hmm. Not gonna go into the spoilers there. <laughs> Let's try the Cover Sorella, brother. Bro, bro, nah. Sorella, Burella. I'm surprised my pulp power, no pulp power, started at over 2,000 today when I got to it. It's like over 2,000! Half of my matches were losses. <laughs> Must have been the were they, teams, what though? Were the wins the ones that mattered? <laughs> I don't know, because I wasn't paying attention to power levels. <laughs> okay, so backtracking is possible. I only play on the shitty station if you die since the learning, which... I don't have time to find out which is which because I'm too busy getting, trying to avoid people. That works too. Let's see, middle one does the middle wall, left one does the left one, yep. right one does the right one. There you go. Yep. And the left and right ones let you backtrack and the middle one can basically block people off from entering the bottom area easily. Or for at leaving. Yeah. Oh. Well that's what the, the, the side ones are for. And then that area is essentially a death trap. Really, the advantage of the, uh... Yeah, it is nice because you can basically fill up that, uh, that bottom area and then just use, raise that wall to buy yourself some time. You can also raise the platform to buy yourself some Yep. Because they can enter it through the sides and all that, but it takes longer. That one didn't matter, but I think we got it. Nope. Ah. Uh, at least I know at least I'm satisfied knowing that you didn't do it. <laughs> I think I just had two squid party here in this match. I may have angered them. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hey, I can't wait for uh, Hero Academia Season 4. <laughs> Why? Because that's when people start dying. But also, yeah. Dingy gets like the. Uh, I can't. And also, it's got the good boy, Mario. I mean, I love the, the hideout radar because it basically sets up a million death legs for all all might, and he's just like, no fuck that. Yeah, he just goes beyond the impossible. Like it is so set up to make it seem like as much as possible, like he's so gonna die, but he just doesn't. He, he just wins. Hasn't yet. Oh. Oh, hey Clem, plus ultra. Mm -hmm. Go beyond. <laughs> But like, yeah, in any, uh, <laughs> most other series, that would definitely be the death of the mentor arc, but... Nah. I think it's, be it's better this way. I have no idea what happened with that map. I just kind of ignored the people <laughs> who were, like, doing their partying and took over the enemy's base. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna post this in, um, in uh, another channel, but... The I take you over the fun. enemy's base one. Oh my fucking god, they play the umbrella like a fucking guitar. Shit, <laughs> nice. so fucking good. God, I forgot that Mirio's killing move was called Phantom Menace. Oh my god, as if the Star Wars references... <laughs> like, uh, Dagobah. <laughs> hey, Kamina, Kamino, or whatever. Yeah, there was that, there was, yeah, there was a Dagobah something. Um, Gran Torino was very explicitly based on Yoda. Wait, Gran Torino was actually based on Yoda? Pretty much, yeah. I think he is the, he is the you know, eccentric uh, teacher that's actually, like, you know, more secretly cool than you would think, and... I, uh, also, I forgot that the flashback showed young, hot Gran Torino, and I kind of lost it just because the, the, the contrast between the two was just fucking hilarious. Yes. What I love too is with young Randorino, is he's like ten feet taller. <laughs> he's like yep. really oh, yeah. shrunk. Uh, here we go. Uh, Horikoshi commented that Gran Torino emits a Dagoba feeling. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, fucking hot Gran Torino. <laughs> I do love Gran Trino in the hideout radar, though. He's so good. Yeah. <laughs> he tells um, tells All Might to just don't go rushing in without thinking. Use your wits. Like the question is, is is that air like actually coming out of his feet? <laughs> He's manipulating it. Yeah. Gran Torino is really such a favorite character too. <laughs> he's on. He's he's fun. Because he will fuck with people. <laughs> I just love. I just love the running joke of All Might being terrified of him. <laughs> terrified of him. Also, can we just say? Can we just agree? Yep. Aizawa cleans up really fucking nicely. Mm -hmm. Also, oh, I love how he. Uh... Makes oh, the, uh, Gran Torino is a cool hero name. Mental note of how uh, <laughs> Deku is like all made in all the wrong ways <laughs> when they save Bakugo. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and Gran Torino is like the only there. one who also always refers to All Might as Toshinori. Yep. Because he's... well... Yeah. Yep. Well, and, um... And, uh... Nanashimura also, in the flashbacks, but... Yeah. In the present day, yeah. But, 
also just love that the whole rescue plan hinges on, like, Kaminari, you're the only one that Bakugo doesn't get pointlessly confrontational with. <laughs> it's because Bakugo and Kaminari are fucking gay. They've both got long gay names. Whatever. Kaminari is Yeah, not Kaminari. Yeah, not Kaminari, not yeah. the electric man. Kirishima, yeah. It's because they're dating, obviously. Pretty much. It's like the only ship I will accept Bakugo in. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one he won't fight. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, pretty much. Well, like, there's a lot of people who ship Bakugo and Deku, and that's just fucking abusive as yeah, fuck. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't, I don't like it. Yeah, I can't stand that one. Like, I don't have many OTPs ever. That's like the one that I do have. Hold on, these are some cursed words. Pulp Defender Kovmeda. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely cursed. Yeah, like, Bakugo does get some positive character development after her hideout raid, which is surprising, but, like, it doesn't excuse him, but at least makes him a bit more bearable. Yeah. I mean, I do honestly, though, think, like, his character went in a more interesting direction of just making him absolutely awful instead of just, the, you know, the standard anime oh, rival, that but... not work. Well, he's so angry. He stands out a lot more. He's so angry. Yep. He's always so angry. Yep. But somebody like that just having a unquenchable desire to be the number one just makes a lot more sense. Well, also, Kameda was just squid partying with one of our teammates, so I had to kill him. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> they were distracting each other. <laughs> And so you killed Tomato. Good job. Yep. And now I'm probably gonna get reported for being a buzzkill. Oh yeah. Nah. Their own fault. Their own fault for being distracted. Now Tomato wants to party with me. No. Can you shoot him? I love it. <laughs> yeah, I kind of it was just an obnoxious thing, especially a brawl where people would like have talk parties, and as soon as you uh, sort of like, hey, what if I actually want to fight? Then they'll like just drop everything and kill you. And they won't just at least kill they you. They'll just talk. like destroy you. Yep. Just, I mean, those were kind of funny the first time, but that's like, come on, guys. I want to actually play the game. <laughs> I want to actually play the game. At least they limited taunts in 4. Wait, what? Yeah, in 4 you can only taunt twice, um, and then you gain an extra taunt when you get a KO. <laughs> really? Yep. Wait, does this mean that Snake's taunt will be a little harder than the uh, well, I think can't you? Well, no, the box you can hold for a while. I mean, there's also people in they only, found workarounds. Did they only um, limit it in like four glory? Uh, I like... in I think in randoms. Okay, because yeah. I know like when we played it, I never noticed that because I was able to yeah. like spam like Captain yeah, Falcon. I, I think it's in all fights with randoms. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. I'm talking about Smash Taunts. Yeah. Oh, Smash- no, Smash Taunts, I think... Well, actually, oh, I hope they raise the timing window for those a little. You do have to be really quick to pull them off. But, I mean, good luck pulling them off for fun matches, anyway. Yeah. Although it will be nice being able to listen to those like Smash Dots and like the Omega or the Battlefield versions without having like the Metal Gears in the back messing th uh, things up. Yeah, 
god, but the stage hazard toggle being a thing, uh, the legal stage list for tournaments is gonna look so good. I, I, I just love that, like, they are putting so much effort into making tournaments more fun to watch, like, yeah, I'll, I'll watch a lot more competitive Smash Ultimate with these changes. They, they're gonna be able to play on more than, like, two stages. <laughs> Ah, yep. And then also like if they well, they, now that they have a thing where you can pretty much do anything out of a dash, like that pretty much like takes up the main purpose of wave dashing. Like the whole thing with wave dashing is that you can like move and like also do attacks out of it, but better you can dash and do attacks out of it, you can I know it's not Exactly the same, but like you can still largely do similar things. So it should be a lot more. But yeah, I'm excited for all the new snake codex. Uh, snake and pit one. And David, ones. And David yep. Hater returns. Oh god. Yeah. David and Hater. That's Peter Sutherland. <laughs> it's fucking I feel like David. Sakurai would have accepted no one less. Exactly. Delightful. Sakurai has standards. Oh, uh, to be fair, David Hayter did always voice Solid Snake. Uh, Keeper Sutherland only ever voiced his shitty dad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Keeper's father was named Donald. Donald's father was named I hate it. Cursed name. Cursed name. Sorry, hey, duck. Cursed duck. <laughs> Yeah, one fun change is definitely it looks like you can charge smash attacks for way longer. And the damage does peak after a while, but the knockback will keep increasing the longer you charge it. So wait, so theoretically you can get an Oko. Pretty much. But, and yeah, so it's basically like launching a fully charged smash attack is like no longer super predictable when you're going to unleash it. Yes, so you can fake people out. Yeah, that's all especially be fun with the Mega Buster, I can tell. <laughs> that's why they got rid of Snake's Mine. Ah, eh, probably not, but... So Snake's wait, what's Mine Snake's might have set? acted funny with that. Uh, his down smash is now just a kick to both sides. Okay. That's okay, though. He still has his C4, he just doesn't have his down smash mine. So his stage control is a bit weaker, but he can fight a bit better at close range. Which I guess is fair. The C4 was his most useful tool anyway, so... I mean, Snake not being able to fight at close range would be silly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it. I, I mean... They did get rid of his bullshit uh, tilt hitboxes, so I guess he needed it. But it's like, you know, he's kind of very good at CQC combat. Yeah. This is true. He remembers the basics of CQC. I can't believe the new meta will be Snake vs. Bayonetta. <laughs> oh my god. I can't wait for the, um, for the codec for that one, honestly. <laughs> I heard some is uh, that the codec for, uh, if they put in Rex would be really fun, like, Snake, that's Rex! Rex! Metal Gear Rex? <laughs> it looks a bit smaller than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, Snake, his name is Rex! <laughs> 
my ear. Ray so Band? Like, you mean like Metal Gear Ray? <laughs> hey, find her. They crossed the Legion Santa and the door cardboard tanks. And he was afraid of vampires. And, and remind her that his son, David, played the being a vampire. Yep. Um, yeah, I, I, I want to be a Smash commentator just so I can only refer to Snake and Captain Falcon as Dave and Doug. <laughs> oh god, that was so scary. Actually, I'm gonna look up that stupid comic. David, oh, god, Doug, Teresa, Cloud. Yeah, from I've, I've been just like listening to people talk about uh, stage list up the ha hazard toggle is off, and it looks like it's pretty much the competitive standard besides Battlefield and uh, for and Brawl where uh, Smashville and Town and City is gonna be like pretty much like the universal competitive starting stage was Smashville or Town and City, so everybody was just getting tired of uh, the Animal Crossing setting and the, and the music. But it looks like. Uh, most likely, just because the layout's so good, that the new uh, standard might be Pokemon Stadium. Delicious. Nice. Which people are excited about because the music is very good. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. we all are imagining a world like where Rin Star is legal. Hell, maybe even like oh, Norfair nice. could be legal. Whoa. Whoa, Norfair yeah. legal. I mean, they're not gonna, it's gonna be like all stages without hazards are legal because like there are some stages like Spear Pillar that are obviously a no even without hazards, but uh, uh, yeah. because the bottom is a cave of life. That does why, unfortunately, uh, Great Plateau Tower won't be legal because its hazardless version just makes the ceiling unbreakable, which makes the entire stage a cave of life. In fact, I think the hazard version is better because the Cave of Life is only temporary. Wait, don't you mean Hyrule Fight Club 2.0? <laughs> the entire stage is a Hyrule Fight Club, yes. I that sounds amazing. I oh, especially because they actually improved text to make them more consistent. Um, because previous, like, you know, when you hit a wall, you just hit shield and you can tech. But in 4, there were some weird exceptions. Like, you can't tech if you've been footstooled. And, uh, weirdly enough, um, sometimes when you take a lot of knockback, you go into this tumble animation where you, like, spin in midair. Uh, it happens about 30% of the time, and it's complete random chance. And if that happens, you can't tech at all, which they did fix in Ultimate. So, basically, teching is a lot more consistent, so fight clubs are even more fight clubby. Good! I like it! I like it! <laughs> I can't wait to go back into into, um, into Gandalf's House of Pain. But have we gotten a confirmation that we can do Norfair soccer? Yeah. I mean, Norfair is, is confirmed because it was seen on the website and soccer balls are in the game, so... Yeah, so, we... so the sort of... Okay, because I know no, originally we weren't sure if that stage was confirmed. Yeah, I think it was like... I Somebody saw it on the site. Um... It really feels like they're bringing back every character and stage, then. Yeah. They've got most of the stages. Like, it's only, like, a couple dozen stages or so that are missing at this point. Hey, Is there an actual right. like, comprehensive stage list so far that anyone's made? There's one on the wiki. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I think aside from a few uh, stages that only work on the 3DS, like uh, Pac Maze and Golden Plains, and I think some that might be a bit redundant, like uh, Sector Z and Planet Zebus. But like other than that, I think they might even try to break back like nearly every stage, which is awesome. I'll link that to me then. Yeah. Uh, you just very serious to see that list. Yeah. But yes, we can do the sport of King The sport of Yoshi murdering you. I just put it in general, but yeah, there's the stage list. Cool. I'm a I'm feeling pretty calm. Now, yeah, somebody I put it, I, I'm gonna see if I can find out on it, because somebody uh, put it, made out on Reddit, but somebody put them all into like a mock-up 
stage select so far, and goddamn it is like dizzyingly big. I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait for December. And, look, and this is gonna be like a Smash Bros. I just play more than any other these like. I wonder what I have an actual good I mean, Ultimate is a very fitting name. Yep, the suggestion, the suggestion I saw that like a lot of people seem to be getting behind is that instead of like a proper story mode or something, they can basically do sort of in, in between, uh, it's especially focused on unlocking characters, but basically have a whole single player campaign that's basically just the Great Maze. Like you sort of have like a giant thing, Smash Run or Great Maze or Great Cave Offensive style world, where you just basically like explore and you find characters as you go along. That could be cool. I mean, like, it's a good, like, in between. I wouldn't mind the story. But... I mean, the cutscenes do take a lot to produce, and they're definitely seem to uh, be focusing the cutscene budget on promotional stuff, which makes sense. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a great maze thing, though. Yeah. Especially also, the more characters you get, the harder it is to put everyone in a story mode. <laughs> Like, good luck balancing a story mode with, like, 70 characters running around. Brawl Prime. Brawl Prime. Yep. But only three fails. And yeah, like, it, it, it is pretty smart what they did for four, because, like, you know, they did put a lot of work and money into those cutscenes, and then, you know, you can just watch them on YouTube and not have to play the Sosei Cemetery. But yeah. now, if they're all on promotional trailers, now when they get uploaded on YouTube and shared around, that's just free promotion. <laughs> That's which exactly is definitely what, they what they're going for here again. Yeah, which is smart. I, I can't wait to see it. And like, they're definitely clearly putting the effort to like, you know, bringing back all the stages and characters and all that, so that's fine with me. Also, uh, as long as Target Smash is better. I just want to say, I, I'm just gonna I went for the first four times. Yep. I went to like Target for last. Uh, the crippled remains of Toys R Us. Oh god, it was... I saw nothing out of it. I what I wanted, honestly. I wanted to get something from it. At least <laughs> Toys R Us Canada is still alive. <laughs> that means I because Toys R Us Canada is owned by a completely different company. Yep. Oh yeah, here we go. So, here is a fan-made mock-up uh, of the stage select screen of all the just currently confirmed stages. So not even getting ones that haven't been revealed yet, and it's just like, it's intimidatingly big. I love it. And this isn't even complete. This is gonna be great, old Like, I'm already looking at that just thinking, Damn. They're gonna have Damn. to have more than one page. <laughs> yep. Because that is just too freaking big. Good luck seeing that on handheld. Oh my god. Actually, I imagine what they could do is have like a second like page where you can select just favorite stages. That would especially be good for competitive because you could just put all the legal stages on one page. Yeah. Also. It's especially weird that you pick the stage first and then your characters. Yeah, well, okay, there's two good reasons for that. The one, the official reason, and probably the more, uh, more relevant reason is that in, like, comp, you can basically have things where, like, the loser picks the stage, so they pick a stage that'll work for them, and then you can, like, pick sort of characters to fit the stage, so if you get one with, like, let's say, bad for little Mac, you're not, like, you didn't already lock yourself into picking Little Mac, so you can still play around the stage. The yeah. second hidden, and I think more clever reason, is that if you pick the stage and then the character, the stage has more time to load in the background, so you have less downtime before you enter the match. Yeah. So it is, it is weird, but it is... I think it does solve a lot of problems. Let's just hope the Switch Online doesn't die. Yeah. But yeah, also consider everyone also has an Omega variant, and a Battlefield variant, and a Hazardless variant. Jeez. The 
combination. I love, I love they were like, what's gonna happen if you turn the hazards off on Final Destination? It was like, the ground disappears. It's like, at last, <laughs> Jigglypuff is top tier again. <laughs> <laughs> Or if you turn up, no, if you turn off the hazards on, on Final Destination, you know what just happens? You know what happens? Every hazard appears. <laughs> Lava, meteors. I, I yeah, remember there's that a question cool. like, what happens if you turn off the hazards on, like, Big Blue? Does it become just the Falcon Flyer? Oh my god. <laughs> just the Falcon Flyer over, like, a pit? Or like Pac-Land, what happens? Is Pac-Land confirmed looks like... to return? Uh, uh, yeah, I think it was on Pac-Man's page on the site. Damn. I mean, it's not like they can bring back Pac-Maze, but... Also, so yeah, apparently there are some interesting changes, like the ultimate Chimera, instead of launching you, I know this is the trailer, just straight up kills you now. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, like, like if it bites you, you just die, like if you hit a, uh, a hazard zone. Oh god, so you... so there is no saving you. Also, it looked like in the, uh, Ridley trailer, like, when... Because he does have that tail stab that does a fuck ton of damage, but when he stabbed Link with it, he just dropped dead instantly, like he just exploded. So, I think what they're considering in the current build is that if it's, if he stabs you above a certain percent of damage, you just die. Which, that sounds hideously unbalanced. Never ask me for anything again. I mean, like, I get that it's just on the tipper, but like, landing tippers isn't that hard. It is for, uh, if you're gonna have, in the heat of battle, you can't score. If it just has more players. I don't play much, so... Yeah, like, obviously some stages with Hazard Toggle are still gonna be banned, like, Corn Area still lets you camp, uh, Spear Pillar has Caves of Life and stuff, but, like, there are a lot of stages that could be legal now, like, like, uh, Halberd, or, um, let's see, Prison Tower, uh, all the Yoshi's Islands, uh, frickin' Mario Circuit for Mario Kart 8. 3D Land, maybe, depending on what layout it gets. Like, I know that generally the th things that'll get a stage banned are, uh, any walk-offs, because they encourage camping. So, you gotta have that ledge play, you can't just, uh, so stuff like, uh, Shadow Moses is still out, or, uh, all that, um... Uh, Generally, vertical walls uh, that are permanent because they can set up infinite combos. Temporary one's okay, but if it's just like, there's a wall always there, that's usually problematic. And anything that lets you, like, camp or uh, move around the stage in a circle because then, like, you could just have Meta Knight run away the whole match and Ganondorf can't catch up with him. No. So, like, yeah, like, Burn area and stuff is still out, but, and like Peach's Castle because that has the walls, but that still does open up a lot of interesting stages with platform layouts that uh, you don't see much. Like fucking Castle Siege might be legal if it's just on the first stage. Or, or, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe Norfair even. Yes. Boxing will make well be because that has locked offs. I'm wondering if they'll count water as a hazard. <laughs> How bad you're losing street kites? <laughs> I'm losing a lot too. I know Sky World won't be because it has will have unbreakable platforms, which can create a giant cave of life. Yeah. But still, for casual play, those will still be fun because, like, God, do I want to play on Dr. Wily's castle with the platforms, but not the Yellow Devil? God, uh, yeah. Yeah, like, like Delfino might be illegal. Uh, hell, maybe even, um, uh, what's it, Reset the Bomb Forest if it's just stuck on the first stage. It's mm. kind of hit in the middle, but. Yeah, Pokemon Stadium for sure. Uh, both of them, because they're both in it. Picto Chat, I think, would just be the Omega form.
Uh, Umbra Clock Tower depends entirely on how the platforms are laid out. Midgar would just be the Battlefield version. Well, I mean, with the Battlefield version, every stage is legal because Battlefield is like the unanimously decided best comp stage, so... For Battlefield versions, like, literally every stage is good. The only, uh, possible thing is certain stages with their, uh, music legality. Like, I know the Mother stages, you pretty much can't stream for some stupid reason. Fucking Mushroom Kingdom U might be legal. What the shit? Oh god. Wait. <laughs> what's the mush what's the mother issue? You can't stream the music for some reason. For legal reasons. I hope they fix that. I don't know. Yeah. No pulp champion, Mermando. <laughs> That's the Gravity Falls representation I want to see. And he was voiced by Matt Chapman, who uh, did all the voices for Homestar Runner. Also, did you have a happy summer ween the other day? Uh huh? Uh, yesterday I think it was, or the day before was summer ween. They cut you off, did I have a oh, what? Happy summer ween. Oh. Like yesterday or the day before was technically summer ween. I don't know, I walked around a lot. thing they did fix with uh, with Smash Ultimate is that now all of the Omega stages are physically identical to Battlefield because in 4 the Omega stages would vary like some were floating platforms but a lot like had walls running all the way down to the blast line so you couldn't go under the stage which actually meant that some of the Omegas weren't as popular online because of those walls because they could allow for some bullshit so now all of the Omegas being identical Final Destination does mean all of the Omegas are legal now. <laughs> so just a few. Wait, what do you mean walls? Like, some... I'm trying to think of what, like... Kalos Pokemon League, like, it wasn't a floating platform, but it was like... The... Uh, you would have the, the floor there, and then the walls beneath it would run all the way down to the blast line. Like, it was like a big tower instead of a floating platform. Oh gosh, it's much <laughs> Which for... yeah, basically, they didn't like that. But all the Omegas and all the battlefields, minus music licensing issues, should be legal now. <laughs> Your setting is alarm. <laughs> Woohoo, Island could possibly legal. Pilot wings definitely won't be because you can camp on the lower wings of the plane. <laughs> Knows. <laughs> Mori Towers? Was there a Tomodachi life stage? 
Yeah, I'm 3DS. That would be why I don't remember it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there was also fighting me. This is not a good streak. In a world where Norfair is competitively legal, it's a crazy yes. world indeed. <laughs> In fact, I even saw people thinking that uh, Smash Ultimate might have too many legal stages, so they can even like end up having to solve the problem by like having seasons where like certain stages are legal. <laughs> too many illegal stages? I never thought I'd hear that as an issue. Yeah, which is a good problem to have. <laughs> Especially after uh, Super Smash Brothers for Town and City. <laughs> yeah, just goodbye, Yellow Devil. Although it looks like so far uh, it just disables the everything on Dr. Wily's castle. Like it also disables the platform, so it's identical to the Omega form, but. Hopefully they change that, because I do want to play with those platforms, but no Yellow Devil. <laughs> Although it would be fucking wild if they brought back Pyrosphere so you could have Ridley fight Ridley and recruit Ridley to his side. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Although it would also be very poetic, because you could have a good Ridley design kick that bad Ridley design's weird beaked ass. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm doing bad with this Sprilla. Just not having good luck with matches. Uh, what the hell would a hazard toggle for Mario Maker look like? Would there just be like one standardized layout? I'm so glad that Mario or Maker like... is referring. Because that's always yeah, been one of my favorites. One. Oh yeah. Or like Mushroomy Kingdom, would it just like be the first few blocks? I don't know. That'll be one where it'll be really interesting to see on a stage-by-stage -stage basis what they do. Hey, like, Orpheon could be legal. That's awesome. And Smash 4 had so many stages with walk-offs, though. Or what about Spirit Trade? Would the trade just be parked? Magicant could be legal. Magicant! Magicant might not be because you could probably camp on that lower platform, but still. Actually, you know what the wild thing is? The wild thing is that in Smash Brothers 4, there actually was an internal hazard toggle because in Pulse Star mode and certain unlockable battles, stages would just not have the hazards. <laughs> like Magic Hand would, and All Star mode doesn't spawn the Flying Men, or like Wily's Castle doesn't spawn the Yellow Devil. So, the hazard toggle did internally exist, it's just Smash Ultimate finally lets you use it.
Yeah, I thought that one was going to be a loss because of how that one went early on, but thankfully we turned it around. Evan, are you there? Evan? I'm teetering on the edge of consciousness and unconsciousness. Uh, we'll just see if there's anyone for, um, Sam and him. We need a forest. Yes.
Any luck, Evan? Huh? Any luck? Well, I don't know who to ask. Mike's not around. Colleen? Uh, let's see what else if Colleen wants me. Say I am uh, completely off caffeine, so I'm so I'm very prone to falling asleep now. Okay. Oh, I Abandoned? Apparently. Ah, oh, never mind.
I think it's safe to say that you can end your screen now. Like, That's what I was actually doing. Oh. Wow. Shorter screen than usual. But yeah. I'm going to end it here. Alrighty. Have a good night, everyone. Good night. We'll stream at some point again, I don't know when. Wait, next like Splatfest at least. Yeah. But uh, we'll see you all then. Later.